deed of crime bears bitter fruit. Did you think you'd get away with it? <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't know? SCP-4494 Original author, Mordos. The following file is affected by a class 1 info hazard. The normal presentation of this document has been altered through anomalous means. This is considered normal and is not a cause for alarm. Item number SCP-4494 Anomaly class Arkan Special Containment Procedures Direct witnesses to SCP-4494 Related activity are to be amnesticized as necessary. No action are to be taken against SCP-4494 by Foundation personnel at this time. Description SCP-4494 is the physical embodiment of the concept of fighting crime. SCP-4494 typically manifests at night during law enforcement actions in which the relevant crime element has an advantage in order to render aid. It appears as a humanoid male of indeterminable age, wearing a wide brimmed hat and a long coat, calling itself the Spectre. Once it has successfully aided the relevant party, it will demanifest, though it has been known to hold brief conversation with people present beforehand. SCP-4494 also possesses a number of minor physical anomalies. It absorbs a significant portion of light across the visible spectrum, causing it to appear almost entirely black, and is able to alter the length of its cloak at will, an ability it seems to only use for dramatic flourish. Additionally, it possesses a minor info hazardous properties. When referred to in text, the reference will always appear in a stylized and dramatic font, and speakers invariably use the dramatic whisper when referring to SCP-4494 verbally. Should SCP-4494 be prevented from successfully aiding the group that triggered its manifestation, the entire concept of attempting to prevent illegal activity begins to break down. This occurs in an ever-expanding area around SCP-4494, the size of which increases at a rate of approximately 10 km per hour. People within this area no longer conceptualize the belief that crime is something which should be stopped, leading to the immediate cessation of all civilian, local and government law enforcement activity by the affected people. To date, the only method of reversing this effect is to allow SCP-4494 to successfully aid law enforcement in preventing a crime in progress. Thus, it is believed that should the effect of impending SCP-4494 become global, it would become irreversible. It should be noted that while SCP-4494 appears to consider the Foundation as a law enforcement organization, law enforcement is not the mandate of the Foundation, and as such, Foundation personnel in the field are rarely significantly impacted by this effect. SCP-4494 Failure Timeline The following table contains observed results of SCP-4494 Failure within a single city. Time since failure. Two minutes. Results. Law enforcement activity cease. Time since failure. Five minutes. Local police forces all functionally disband, unable to comprehend the nature of their job. Time since failure. Ten minutes. Violent incidents and traffic accidents skyrocket as local populace no longer possesses any conception of the consequences of illegal activity. Time since failure, 30 minutes. Result, criminal element become exceedingly active. No one in the city can conceive the idea that they should be stopped. Time since failure, 1 hour 20 minutes. Result, full scale looting begins. Time since failure, 2 hours. Results, local media begins musing on the events, unable to conceptualize what has changed that has led into the current situation. SCP-4494 Failure has not been allowed to continue beyond this point to date. Addendum The following is a transcript of a typical SCP-4494 encounter by the Foundation personnel. To date, 
seven such encounters have occurred outside of the initial attempts at containment. Notes. MTF SIGWA-12, Mary's Little Lambs, were engaged in a raid on a facility believed to be manufacturing and distributing an anomalous narcotic known as WARP. They were pinned down when the occupants of the facility unexpectedly began using anomalous weaponry. Team consists of five members. Shit! Valas is down! Take cover! Where the hell did they get those things? We're meant to be dealing with low-level drug runners here. Oh gas! Just take him down! All on the stone! We need to fuck! 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 Samper! We need to retreat! Three down! And they're the animal of some kind of gas and but Criminals! Evil doers! Denizens of the night! Your time has come, for now you face the Spectre! What the fuck is that? Take it out, take it! <laughs> what the hell is this now? Who is this Spectre guy? Wait, what the fuck? Shit, we got a secondary anomaly at the scene! Wait, I think I've been free from this thing. It's. Fear not, agent of justice. Aid is at hand. Whatever, seems like it's on our side. Let's get the job done! Justice is served. The streets will no longer be plagued by these devils and their foul poisons. Hey, we're gonna need it, cop. Thank you. We, um, we couldn't have done this without you. <sighs> oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Someone's gonna help deal with these guys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So, when you aren't here, you know, doing your thing, what do you do? Oh, you know, watch TV, browse the internet. Sometimes I play some video games. Video games? Aren't you like the embodiment of justice or something? Yeah, and as the embodiment of justice, let me tell ya. That new Spider-Man game, fucking good stuff. You play it? No, we don't really have time for video games. That's a shame. Justice loves video games, ya hear? I see. Well, thanks for your help, I guess. <coughs> Worry not. Wherever darkness grows, wherever injustice seems to prevail, those who serve good will always have an eye in the Spectre.